So what we're going to do, I'm going to turn this thing off so it's not so noisy. That's my air suction device. I'll uh, sacrifice and endanger my health for you guys here. So what I'm going to do is, uh, the last time I used a uh, borax, I scooped it in with a spoon and I posted a video of it. And uh, it bubbled and popped and spit all over the place. And uh, when I tried it the second time, I decided to go with a little spice shaker with some holes on the top. And found that works a lot better. Now, uh, just so uh, people can see the, the difference in this technique versus scooping a whole bunch in there, I, I'm, I'm going to do this quick demonstration of how that works. So well, I'm going to take some of this. To show how safe it is, I'm not even wearing sleeves on my shirt. So, uh, but I will use some gloves. One glove. And, uh, okay, you can move over here to my wife and partner here will show how much I put on. And uh, so I'm going to just go and sprinkle a little bit on it. Yeah, that's good enough. Just a bit like that, and then I'm going to go start. Now you can see that's not bad, right? I could have put a little bit more on there, but it's not popping and spitting like, like it did before. So I'll stir this guy in here a bit. I'm going to try a second bunch uh, just to show. Maybe I'll use a little bit more the second time because I was pretty conservative there. So I'll scrape this a little bit. I'm not going to do a real thorough flux, but I usually do try to s s stir things up real good, loosen up all the impurities. Okay, so now I get that out of there. We'll try a, a second flux. Uh, get some of this stuff in there. There we go. And I'll skim this stuff off. We'll do it a second time. I usually flux three times. Okay, let's take this crap off. You can see there's a little bit of un unactivated uh, borax there, the white stuff. And the, the thing about using less borax like this is the uh, the first time I lost quite a bit of lead uh, out of the pot. When I was fluxing, but uh, when I do it like this, you can see from beginning to end on this video. I'm gonna put a little bit more. Yeah, you can see from beginning to end that it's not, it's not uh, losing a lot of alloy this way. So now I put a little bit more on, so you can see I'm getting a little more overburden on there. But the, uh, the flux is doing its job. Dirt in there. I like to get as much of it dissolved as I can. And uh, from the testing I did, the uh, the bullets produced by using a little bit of borax like this were pretty well the same as as uh, the ones produced with a whole lot of borax. So it doesn't seem to be that important. Now what a the other thing too is I'm going to skim this off. I'm going to put on just a little next time. You see, it kind of takes on a different uh, look to it. Uh, the cleaner the uh, alloy gets, it starts to get. In fact, now already it's getting kind of brown instead of instead now. So you just skim some of this crap off. Um, you see the lead, the level of lead in the pot isn't really going down appreciably. Maybe a little bit, but not much. Don't move that camera too much, my dear. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Let's try a little bit here. So that represents a third flux. And we'll scoop this in there. Maybe with this much fluxing, 
I should have a pretty clean uh, pot by now. Uh, although I haven't scraped and stirred it as much as I normally do. Just since we're doing this video, I don't want to take too long. But uh, actually, this will probably work just fine. So I'll just stir this through there and uh, scrape it up and down the sides real good. Spout. It's okay to kind of agitate it a little bit. It's not going to splash that easy. Be a little rough with it. Okay, now let's, let's get that this thing out of there and skim this last bit off. And uh, that's basically luxing with borax that's uh, and you can see again that the uh, level of alloy in the pot hasn't really gone down appreciably so I'm not losing a whole bunch of of uh, pressure of good alloy uh, which was a concern earlier and uh, but it's definitely a small amount of I'm going to just get this, get that cleared out here. Okay, get it from around that spout there. Okay, so a small amount of borax put on there just immediately converts into a, a large volume. It just fluffs up like, like popcorn, basically. It just takes on a lot of volume, but not really a lot of weight. So, uh, that is our flexing with borax. Hope that helps you out. <laughs>